<laughs> Sorry, <clears throat> I'm just being attacked by the plant. Um, <laughs> good evening. Welcome to my daily broadcast. Uh, a little bit later today than usual because I was at a memorial service today. Um, but welcome to episode 659. And the topic today is ladies, please choose your healing path carefully. I'm going to explain a lot more about that in a second. Before I do, let me jump into introducing myself. Sorry, let me introduce myself first before I jump into the topic. That was better. Hi, my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction ex expert. And I help women create balance in love, life, and, bi in love, life, and business. Tongue tied for a second there. Um, because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine. I'm also driven by that calling inside to create these talks I've done every day now for over two years called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. And today we're episode number 659. And the topic today, again, is ladies, please choose your healing path carefully. And it's because of a post a friend of mine did about this Tantra teacher who said something that when she explained to me what, she, what was said, I was like, seriously? So I may refer to exactly what she said, but I want to speak more to the red flags, indicators, signs that you may want to have before you start choosing this. So let me preface this this way. Ladies, if you are, now I've, now I've done talks about this before, so just be aware of this. If you're looking to heal your past wounds from relationships, from abuse, from other hurts that are challenging you when you go forward into the next relationship, going to the next relationship is not the ideal choice. I've said this before, like the, your next relationship won't heal your past pain. And there are a multitude of healing modalities, healing paths, healing teachers along the way that you can use if you decide to take your own healing into your own hands and find a good person to work with. There are some out there that are amazing. People do things different from what I do. People do things similar to what I do. But there are some people who claim to have the corner of the market on a certain skill set and will charge you like two or three thousand dollars just to get started with them where my bullshit meter goes off to be blunt in this particular case and i don't i'm not a friend of the person and i'm not going to mention their names so this is going to be transparent in that sense she was under the implication that her work with tantra made her so um effective that she said something on the lines of and i'm, I'm going to try this right because i don't remember what it written in my head that her and I'm going to use the language here, so be, so, be, so cover your ears if you don't if you're sensitive. But I was, but what she said something about is her her goddess pussy could heal narcissism. That was kind of what that's what I heard she said. First of all, that really triggers me because I know enough about narcissism in part in people that first of all requires some serious intervention. But to think about the fact that a woman's pussy, just use the language she used there, which I presume she means to imply a sexual contact will somehow cure somebody of a narcissistic psychological disorder, first of all, who's she trying to fool? Because that context, this idea, hi Karen, interesting you're on broadcast, I'm talking about the topic we talked about earlier, um, this idea that somehow being empowered in your pussy, so to speak, to give great sex to a man, now, now I'm making an assumption here, but let me rephrase that right, she may be teaching women about taking ownership of their feminine power, which is one thing, because I'm very much about that in my own work. But she's talking about how using sex as a means to heal someone else's narcissism, all you're doing is giving the person what they want. Because if that person's a narcissist, ha having, having you give them great sex, they ain't going to change. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. It's not an invitational process. So I have that trigger this thought, which is the overarching thought, how so many people are marketing their healing modalities that frankly it frustrates me one because I know what I have as a skill set from all these years and I can tell you about that in a moment that they, they basically have maybe studied one course six months ago and now they're hanging at a shingle selling programs for two, three, five thousand dollars because they think they've got the key to the kingdom it doesn't work that way 
well, let me say this. Up to now, I've not seen it work that way. Let's be clear about that. So ladies, I'm talking about ladies in particular because generally women are more focused on healing and transformational work than men are. That's just my experience over the last 30 years in this industry. I've always found myself in the minority in any transformational environment because it's the way it works. And yes, thank you, Karen. There are so many charlatans in the self-help work by our beware, absolutely. So I'm gonna offer some ideas and suggestions that may, presuming it has them inside, I'm, I'm, I'm just presuming I have the information to give you, that may give you some pointers and some markers and some red flags so you know what you're looking for when you're looking at getting some help. So to rewind to what I said, so ladies, when you choose to take the healing path, to heal past wounds, abuses, pain, suffering, broken hearts, stuff like that, you know, you know what I'm talking about. If you're seeking to work with some sort of healing modality, some teacher, guide, coach, expert, first of all, again, it sounds simple, do your due diligence to verify this person can do what they say they can do. Because you might know that the modality they're teaching is right, but you don't know if necessarily the person who's doing it has the skill set to match with the healing modality they're teaching. That's one thing. Secondly, be clear that the healing modality, the healing format, the healing path they teach will work for you as a theme. So that's two different levels. The healer and the healing path, both of those need to be lined up to work with you. That they will support you, serve you, and heal you. There are many people, as I said, who have basically done one course and now have a certificate, perhaps, or a pin they wear, so to speak, or a branding on the website because they're now a Reiki master or a Tantra teacher or some other thing. And I'm not knocking those skill sets. Those, those modalities are powerful modalities when they're used by people who know the work and have studied the work. But some people spend like, you know, three days putting the, dipping their toe into that training and suddenly they're an expert and use it as part of their 17,000 skills skill set to teach you how to be better. And they don't have, the, they don't have the, um, the depth of experience to help you. And it frustrates me because it dilutes the marketplace, first of all. And secondly, it can give people who do teach this work the right way a bad name. I mean, I know some people, for example, who are Tantra teachers, tantra, actually Tantra masters, in my language, who are um, Reiki masters, who are, um, well, all different sorts of modalities, who are absolutely implicitly trust because I know them. First of all, I know them personally, and secondly, I know their work, both from experiencing it and also from their clients. So part of the due diligence I'm recommending for you to do if you're looking to get into the healing work is first of all, test drive that person. If you can talk to them first without spending any money, definitely a good idea. Because if you have to, because this is one of my caveats. If somebody is saying that you want to work with me, it's going to cost you 500 bucks to start or a thousand bucks or $5,000 to start with my first program, you might want to walk away. Because if the person is not that good at the work, they won't teach, show you that by being upfront. I was taught by one of my teachers that before I work with anybody, and this is actually two when I'll tell you about this in a second, that one of the things I need to do in all my coaching is offer a discovery session first, a 30 minute free consultation that has no strings attached, no requirements, and no fee. Now, just so you be fully transparent, one of those things, one of those reasons is because you wanna make sure that I am trustworthy as a coach and that what I talk about has value for you and you feel supported. So you're test driving me basically. But the other thing is the other way around, this is the key thing is not only am I, you test driving me, I'm test driving you. That 30 minutes is not just for me to give you information, it's for me to learn about you as well, because it's for me to know if you really want to find out, I want to find out if you are going to do the work, because I'm clear as a coach, I only have so many spaces for clients, and I'm very clear that I only want to work with people who are willing to do the work. If you're not willing to do the work, forget about it. And those sort of people may be matching up with those sort of teachers who have no skill set. They will fit together perfectly. Don't want to do the work. Do you got the money? Work with somebody who doesn't teach you anything that takes your money. Make sense? So, um, thank you. Oh, Karen, would you say that? Yes, the test driving first. And if they don't, won't consult with you initially to allow this without charge, run. Thank you. Exactly. That is, that is, that is one of my rules, my laws, my, my truths. Oh, by the way, sidebar slightly. If you're wondering if you're watching on YouTube who am I talking to, this is a Facebook Live first. I'm interacting with people there. So sorry you're missing the comments if I'm reading them out again. And if you want to watch me on YouTube, on Facebook the next time live, I'll give you the links at the back end. So that's one thing, is to really get clear, first of all, the person does offer, 
you get to know them because the thing is just having a fancy website because to be honest my website is very 90s it's a little bit old-fashioned and clunky just to be transparent so if you go to my website and check it out i'll give you the links at the back end it doesn't it's not a very pretty website but my work is 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 real i believe my what i do i've studied it for many years i've got a lot of qualifications but also I've got a lot of immersive experience that changed my life so i'm sharing what i've learned with people like you there are people out there who've got extremely pretty websites they spent three four thousand dollars on which is why they charge you so much for the courses they're immaculate websites but they don't let you work with them for free or test out their work for free i have lots of free things on my website and low cost products on my website that you can test drive to make sure that you're getting value because frankly i wouldn't want you to work with me if you don't trust my work there's no point and frankly i won't work with anybody who give, again as who won't do the work either because i want to go deep and help you get where you want to go and frankly the money is secondary oh yeah i want to get paid very clearly but I'm so clear that in this work, if you aren't willing to dive deep yourself and willing to face the demons you carry inside, then there's no point in us working together. So this framing is why I bring the why I do to this, to, this, to this business. But I'm also clear there are so many people out there who are charlatans, as, as uh, Karen put it. The people who don't actually have immersive experience in the teachings. And it's not, and that's the other part. Some of these teachers are working from theory from the book they read, or maybe a training they watched, or immersed, or did some initial study with. If you've watched any of my 600 and almost 660 Facebook Lives, yes, I've done a few, as I said, you'll know if you've been watching them, I speak from a lot of experience and things I've learned over the many years of this work. Not to make myself sound old, <laughs> but I know what I'm talking about. And I'm extremely passionate in my work. And if you're watching the last few weeks, you may have noticed my, work, my message is starting to shift into a deeper level because I'm going deeper in my own journey. If you're looking to do this work to heal, you want to find somebody who's gone deeper than you have, who can gently encourage you and lead you through that work so you can get transformed. It's not going to be somebody who's going to come along and go, I'll just do some wave my hands over your head and you'll feel better and you'll be fine. Or this pussy worship stuff that's coming out of the Tantra movement. I know particularly, one person in particular I recommend highly, and there's a few others as well, but one person in particular I recommend highly because her Tantra is specifically about healing because of her own journey. And she's someone I implicitly trust. I've actually met her a few times, so I actually have a very clear sense of who she is as a woman and by the work she does. So if you're looking for real Tantra support, I would recommend her. Because so, this is the other, no, here we go. That was a piece I was waiting for. <laughs> it shows up this way. So speaking of, um, I'm gonna do this one that way. I, I need to do this without outing any company names, but I'm gonna talk about this one too. So there are some healing modalities out there that I believe are frauds, pure and simple. There are also some healing modalities that are tenuous at best. There's an organization that does a thing, um, I'll be careful I say this. I don't want, I, well, you know what, I'm gonna say it this way. What? <laughs> I would say this. When you are offered some teachings from a teacher whose focus is about healing and taking you through the psychological, mental, and emotional transformation to get you healed, but they or their facilitators or their environment don't provide a psychological safety net for you, walk away. There's, a, and, and I'm gonna, I've got to talk about it. Okay, it's been, it's, my, it's bugging me because it's been on my way for a while. There's a, there's a, there's a California based company that teaches a form of touch that is almost antiseptic, sexual touch, that is almost antiseptic, that's supposed to help women heal. And the way it's set up, that I'm aware of, unless they changed it recently, is such that where a woman basically is with a man who's a stranger to her, and is involved, it's basically he touches her in a rhythmic fashion without trying to turn her on, and she doesn't try to get turned on and all that sort of stuff. But it's basically touching her genitalia, her, her pussy. Now, here's the thing. I talked about this before, and it's in my work as well, is for a lot of people, we store painful memories in our cells. It's kind of, it's, it's kind of that, kind of, it's kind of yoni massage, but, but the name's different. But the thing about it is, my frustration with it is, I know, this is gonna be a piece of information for you. If you're not aware of this, here's some facts. Ladies, many of you, maybe not you personally, but many other women, carry trauma tied to their yoni pussy genitalia, how you put the words on it, because of abuse, rape, sexual issues from the past. 
the only way that can be healed properly is with somebody who is an exper is experienced in traumatic healing, whether it's PTSD healing or the levels of working with somebody emotionally when they're going through the physical, because the emotions and the, and the physical are tied together inexorably. So if you are somebody who's working in the in that arena, so to speak, and doesn't have the psychological background, the human em emotional mental experience, when that touch triggers a traumatic outburst and you can't handle it, as in, sorry, when, when the counselor, the coach, the therapist, the teacher, the person there can't handle your, your traumatic expression, you're in trouble. So what I'm saying to that, as I said earlier, is you really got to do your homework. First of all, your due diligence. Be very clear what sort of person you want to, you're looking for. And when you meet them, make sure they're the real deal. Secondly, be clear that you are willing to go to a certain place in your healing to make sure that person has the space around it to protect you, support you, and serve you to get there. I don't have like a list of directory because that's not my job in this place. I just want to make sure I'm giving you a cautionary tale and a reminder to do your due diligence. I do offer a discovery session as a requirement before someone can coach with me. Because again, you want to make sure that I'm the real deal. I want to make sure you're the real deal. That simple. And then if you want to work together, we can. And we can work out the finances and everything else later on. I will put a link in the comments for a discovery session so you can test drive me if you haven't done so before. Because I really want to make sure that you get the value. Even in that time, I want to make sure you will create value. And if we don't work together, my intention is that at that 30 minutes, you gain some insight, some value, some direction you can use in your life anyway. And you're welcome. And thank you. Thank you, Karen, for that feedback. Yes, it, it's, it's the truth. So whoever you work with, make sure you do your due diligence. Make sure you do your homework and you verify there's someone you can trust. That's why the link for my discovery session in the comments will let you test drive me for free so you can trust me or find out if you can't trust me. Because the thing is, if you can't trust me, I don't want to work with me, work with me either. That's the reality. This is about the work that really transforms lives. But don't be, um, I can say this, be willing to, to find out first before you jump in. Don't just go with the first person. And again, because some people's website and marketing is so impressive, you think they're the real deal. Nine times, out of ten, nine times out of ten, it ain't so real. Again, my website ain't pretty. I'm just being clear about that. I need to get it redone, to be honest. But my site is accurate. And the information on it is too. So these videos are part of my work to, to be providing messages. So I'll give you the links where you can find them. Again, the link to the, for my discovery session will be in the comments after I sign off. But this is a key part of the work, is you've got to be willing to do your research and know when you find the right person to work with. Don't go with the wrong person and do not trust somebody who you know, because you know, hasn't done the work themselves. So this is my Facebook Live I do every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time usually, but it's 7 p.m. today because I was at memorial service today. I should be at 5 p.m. tomorrow as normal. It's been a weird week. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day on my web, on my personal page, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. The replays go onto my business page, which is barryselby.author. If you haven't already followed me on that page, make sure you follow my personal business page. Also onto YouTube on my channel, which is Barry Selby. Please subscribe to the channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. This is my commitment every day to serve, to support, to inspire. And so far, 659. There's a lot of inspiration out there. If you have any questions or thoughts about this broadcast, please put them below. If you know anybody should watch this, please share it with them. Um, if you want some help, I'll put the link in the comments so you can find me. With that, I thank you for watching. Um, yeah. I appreciate you being here and I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.